Peace and greetings. This is your girl Naya here from the Metaphysical Mommy. And uh, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be an unboxing of the second edition of the Oracle of Oddities. I do have the third edition on order and I have been scouting for the first edition as well. Um, I had a pretty eventful last couple of days. Um, this came in, in through the mail. I had a lot, uh, I'm sorry, some eventful things going on. And, um, so I was like, well, this deck definitely wants to be part of my rhythm and, and, and life and all that stuff. So, um, I'm excited to unbox this because I've been looking forward to it for the past couple of days. So let me open it up. And I, um, as I receive these, I'm going to do them. So that we know what cards are in what deck. Because I think they're combinable. So I wanted to do do that. Okay, I guess real fast. Um, that's what the front of it looks like. So it says second edition of Oracle of Odysseys by um, Black and the Moon. Or Claire Goodchild. Um, that's the... Uh, it's just a plain kind of tuck box that it comes in. Which I was surprised. Yep, there it is. Black and the Moon. So you can see that. Go to their website, see what's up. Now, I thought it was interesting because I have had my eye on this deck for a very long time. But um, I didn't know that there were different like editions of it. I just thought it was kind of one standard edition. I come to find out there's three out there. And I'm like, oh, okay, now I got to collect them all. And that's just how that happened. Because um, I was in the market for a deck. And then, like I said, I, I just thought it was one one uh version but it, apparently it's more than that one version all right i finally got this plastic wrap off you guys my god okay <clears throat> so it does come in a tuck box there we go okay so it does not come with a book um just fyi the backs of them are completely, basically, like, black. Is this, like, black with, like, a hint? It, there's almost, like, a greenish hint hue to the back of the cards. So, um, I like it because they are reversible. But this is an Oracle deck. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick flip through. Um, and kind of a first impressions here. Here we have Beauty with the skull and the roses. I love the aesthetic of this deck ever since I've seen it online. Um, empathy and apathy. Okay, so they're kind of like little sets. So let's just go through with that. So here's empathy and apathy. So as you can see, the empathy, there's flowers growing and apathy. There's no growth happening. There's like that sense of stagnation. Um, and it's all coming from like the rib cage where the, where the heart is encased and, um, your lungs are encased. And that's kind of like where, um, you know, you communicate about how you feel and things of that sort. So I think that's really beautiful. All right. And I don't know if there's any other sets like that, but if I see them, I will just show them next to each other. Here we have separation. Very interesting cards here. Here we have Eternity. Security. I really, um, I really like this depiction of the word security um, and how the fetus feels secure in the womb. Um, you know, that's like fourth house energy. Um, you know, and family, of course, the mother, the mother child, um, relationship, um, even outside, you know, outside of the womb could be one thing, but while you were in there incubating security is what you had. Um, so here we have glutton with a bunch of stuff sticking out, <laughs> some fruits and stuff sticking out of the abdomen. So that's cool. Toxic. Mm. 
Okay, so when I look at this, toxic here, it kind of looks like kidney failure um, in a way. I'm not really sure how else to describe it. Um, yeah, you, yeah, just see kidney failure there. Interesting. Okay, then we have anger, which is actually the, the, um, which the illustration is actually pretty cool for this as anger. And then the classic death, there we have a, a raven and a skull and all that kind of stuff there. Here we have Union. These cards are very beautiful. Here we have Union. Here we have Power. And what's interesting to me in the Power card, it kind of looks like... <clears throat> somebody has somebody's heart in their hands or is about to have their heart in their hands um and that is a definite like power move um it's powerful to allow somebody to have their heart your heart in their hands you know what i mean or vice versa you know don't take advantage um here we have imagination which this kind of reminds me of the seven of cups in the traditional rider weight um, tarot deck because of all the different options that we have going on here then here we have knowledge the hand grasping at a globe I think that's pretty nifty <clears throat> then we have explore showing the foot with some flowers I really love that because exploring Definitely for me it, with this card, it's like an adventure. It's like going out there, putting one foot in front of the other and exploring your surroundings and exploring your city or your state or your country, whatever. Um, very beautifully done. Observe. To know is to know. Uh, to know is to look, listen and observe. I really like this. Okay, and then we have listen. Transformation. Which I find is interesting to sh depict dragonflies as transformation. Although I've always been pretty keen to dragonflies in my life. I'm not sure what the significance is there. Um, but transformation, I mean, you can see it in, in the illustration with the skull kind of, you know, having some growth happening there at arm's length. Now here we have divinity. I kind of like that. It's kind of quirky, but it's really kind of cool. It's kind of like the all seeing eye or the, you know, actually it looks like the little beads from the evil eye bracelets, um, with the hand pointing towards towards it I, I really like that I think that's uh very unique then we have friendship sorry my nails are in the way friendship which is pretty cool then we have life here that's kind of like the hip hip bone lower base area so like the root chakra area um, and that makes sense, um, you know, why it would be called life. At least to me, that's how I'm synthesizing it. It's kind of like the root chakras, your tailbone, where you sit at, you know, but it's also the root of your power, um, and, and, um, sexual pleasure in order to procreate and thus creating life, you know? Um, <clears throat> okay. Then we have a pair here. Um, God and goddess. So I think that's pretty cool.
here we have the Nexus. I do like um, the fact that there's bees depicted on here for Nexus. You kind of think like honey, nectar, Nexus. It's like the center of civilization. Um, I'm trying to discern which body part this is pertaining to. I don't know if this is pertaining to kind of like the lungs, um, the um, brachii that's in there, or if these are supposed to be synopsises within the brain stem somewhere. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to do a little research on that, but that's pretty cool. Then here we have support with the backbone. That's pretty cool, support. And then we have opposition with the hands kind of going apart from each other. Um, here we have lust, which um, is interesting because the gluttony is on there, or yeah, gluttony is on there too, kind of similar but more revolves around the belly. This one is more about around the um, the sexual kind of areas of uh, the woman's body here. So, and then we have Revelation. I, I really love this depiction of Revelation because it's like anytime you have a personal epiphany or a personal, um, you know, revelation, it's like your two parts of your brain kind of like snap out and then go back into itself. I don't know. It's probably the worst way of explaining it, but I really like how it's described in this using this illustration um and then we have reward okay and then the last card is pain this is a 30 card deck so this pain here reminds me of the three of swords in uh and right away tarot deck so all in all I don't know. All in all, this one is kind of pretty straightforward for me. Like, I, I, I understand what the pictures are saying for the most part. And all of that kind of stuff there. So, again, this is the second edition of the Oracle of Odyssey. Of Oddities, excuse me. Of the Oracle of Oddities. That's what the backs of them look like. I will compare it to a tarot card so you have an idea of roughly how big they are. All right, that is the same size as a tarot card. I'll put it on top so you can see just about. As you can see, there's like a sliver, a little sliver that it, it so it's basically the size of a tarot card. Um, so that's pretty cool. So they're comfortable to work with. And I'm going to go ahead and pull one card just to see what me and this deck relationship is going to be like moving forward. Oracle ancestors, spirit guides, universal source energy. What is mine and this deck's relationship going to be like? Oh, how are we going to work together? Okay. Explore. <laughs> you saw that flip out, right, guys? Explore. Definitely exploration coming out of this deck for me. Um, there's a lot to explore, and it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm excited to get the uh, the third edition in by post and, you know, merge them together to make them work. But like I said, I wanted to do them separate so you could kind of see, like, what's in the second edition what's in the third edition, and then whenever I get my hands on the first edition, whatever's in the first edition. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.